got this transformer that got hit by a car, done a bit of damage. Radiator bands and all can meet out of here. But we need to do uh, get rid of the, all of the rest of the tank. And off all the side. And got the top lid off and here's the internal guts of the transformateur. The other side of the transformateur. I've got an HV side, high voltage, 11,000 volts goes in here. A lot of snails love bushings for some reason. And if you have a look in the transformateur, you see again here on the right hand side is the LV, low voltage, neutral, CBA neutral. Tap changer for voltage adjustment, high voltage bushings. And you should be able to see the hole. It's an ETEL transformateur, 300 kVA, 11 kV, 415, 240. A bit of details. It's quite a new transformateur. Tap, some tap changer. Look at this, you can see the secondary winding is aluminium. The primary winding is, uh, looks like copper. Sometimes it's copper coated aluminium as well on these uh, windings. Interesting way to fasten the radiators. Um, they've got a threaded rod and they've got a big knot. That's the way they attach the radiators. I thought they had a uh, plate with another thing, but they use uh, just a threaded rod. And as you can see on this side, on this side, right, the bottom one uh, here got distorted and uh, they all had leaked out. I get three coils here. Tap changer switches on the 11 kV side that got just a little short sliding uh, device in there and it uh, goes between the different contacts of the coils. It's a so called offload tap changer so that the transformateur needs to be de energized before operating the tap changer. That's the neutral bar and the phases are on the other side, and as you can see, it's aluminium, uh, aluminum as you Americans say, al aluminium. Uh, Flat ribbon. The LV bushings uh, have copper stems and uh, brass nuts. Go through the post lane and then they go to here, and on the other side is normally the low voltage frame. Here you've got a tap change adjuster, and they've got an old gauge in here as well, which is low, of course, there's nothing on there. Okay, I've removed the thing from here, we're going to click this. You can hear the clicks. It's important that these uh, tips are in the right position that they're making. The click is important. Coupling goes through there. So yeah, that's the guts of this transformator and it's got to get uh, recycled or probably retanked and then uh, put back in service. And the lid had a uh, seal on it as well, it's some gasket material on here. No Sealed pretty well. Quite a few bolts. So yeah, it was quite a nice looking transformateur. And uh, be ready for refurbishment. So what's that? It's, it's like Monday, Tuesday. Sucking it all out. Suck all the crap out of the tray. Pretty cool when it goes in. That has been mixed a little bit with water, probably. Yeah. Post 10 would love this stuff too because he's into his stormwater systems. Post 10. Uh, 
That was the actual lid. A little rust in there. And then we've got the screws. Number 13 screws, little vegetable clamps. Well, it's also about to all that's going in these uh, ISO containers. Nice bubbly reaction there. And it all gets recycled, to get refilled, cleaned up, whatever, and then reused again at some stage in the future. Switch on our cable flash over. There's a nice hole in there. Carbonized. The cable boot must have got water in it. Look at this. So I spoil my back where it was before and it can get go to the repair place.